This is Tommy's Breaks. Welcome everyone to video number three of Tommy's Breaks Subbox Blitz, where I'm opening 20 sub boxes in 20 days. I want to thank you all for watching, and if this is your first visit, please consider subscribing to the channel. I greatly appreciate that support. Also, if you're unfamiliar with what the Subbox Blitz is all about, I will put a link in the description to video number one where I explain things in a little bit more detail and you can kind of get a sense of what's happening from there. Enough about that. Let's get into the break. Today we have the Boombox Baseball Box. Now, I know that name is uh, a little bit redundant um, and it's interesting because I think they started out with the Boombox baseball versus other sports just my hunch i wasn't here but uh and then they have the boombox high-end baseball and the boombox platinum baseball so this is the entry level tier if you will the boombox baseball i'm gonna clear that out now what we're expecting here from this box which is 39.99 are seven to ten packs um, plus a one touch and temporarily these are screw down one touches due to supply issues i believe um, the magnetics have been tough to come by and here is our pack oh well we also get this is a, an older box this is october so the featured products are tops chrome uh 2020 tops chrome 2020 heritage 2020 series 2 and 2020 archives. And we clearly have more than that. Um, there's a 2017 series one in here. Hobby pack, that's a bonus. There's a 2019 heritage. Uh, that's a bonus. Wow. Uh, 2014 Bowman draft. That's a bonus. And these are our uh, main packs. The Series 2 Hobby, the Topps Chrome, the 2020 Heritage, and the 2020 Archives. Wow, so we ended up with uh, seven total packs. That's pretty nice. And you can you find out more information about these, uh, these guys over at theoriginalboombox.com. Taking a look at their site, you can see they have multiple sports, custom options, and inside of each sport, there are multiple tiers of boxes that you can subscribe to or order. Since I've been around, certainly Boombox has been a staple, and they, uh, they certainly seem to have their stuff together, for sure. So let's get right in. Taylor Gashu, Nick Howard, he goes a refractor, Ben Lively, Ryan McMahon, Jordan Montgomery, Alex Verdugo, Peter O'Brien. All right. Let's check out our 2017 Series 1. Next. Seth Lugo, rookie. Clayton Kershaw. Tanner Rock. Nick Noonan. We got a rainbow foil. Of Jesse Hahn, Ryan Dempster, analyst card, Big Poppy. That's certainly one I'm going to hang on to. Adam Lynn, Lean, shooting hoops with his helmet. Marcel Ozuna, and Hector Neris. Okay, let's see what our 19 Heritage has to offer. Uh, 
Brad Keller, Phil Meyer, Royals Rookie Stars, Blake Parker, Kyle Tucker, and Perez, Samuel Perez, the Stroh's Rookie Stars, Kendrys Morales, Flashbacks, Hank Aaron, Kyle Hendricks, Masahiro Tanaka, Dustin Fowler, Jose Martinez. Let's move on to our featured packs. I'm going to start off with Heritage. Ken Giles, Zach Eflin, we got a Verlander, Garrett Cole, Eduardo Rodriguez, 19 pitching leaders, Colombe, Kevin Pillar, CJ Cron, Mike Soroka, Gold Cup, Ben Gamble, and Ayan Gomes. Next up, Let's do some Series 2. Do a little quick Robert Chase. Matt Beatty. Jonathan Adaza, rookie. Get a gold in the back. Sam Uviglio. Brett Phillips. Austin Hayes, Ryan O'Hearn, Ian Happ, Miguel Endahar, Jonathan Shoup, Erie Edrianza, Edri Edrianza, yeah. We got a little rainbow foil of Aaron Barrett. And then our gold of Kim. It's going to be out of 2020. Joey Wendell, Wendell and Cole Hamels. Two packs to go here. Check out some archives. Nice David Ortiz. Another one. Yamaguchi. Aaron Nola, Bryce Harper, the Phillies back, Kyle Seeger, got a Sean Murphy, 2020 rookies, Catfish Hunter, and a Jordan Yamamoto. All right, Top Scrum, show me something. Jacob DeGrom, Sean Murphy again. We got a little Altuve refractor. That's kind of nice. And a Hunter Dozier. All right, let's take a look and do a quick recap. No major hits in this break. Um, certainly there's a few scattered rookies throughout this pile. And then I just pulled, a, pulled aside a few, you know, fun cards. Cards from my own collection here. This Altuve Refractor was probably one of the nicer cards that we pulled, to be honest. Uh, David Ortiz. This was a rainbow of uh, Aaron Barrett. There's a gold of Kim. Another David Ortiz for the PC. Clayton Kershaw. That was just a rookie from the uh, 2017 pack. So that's going to do it for the recap. Let's jump into the review. As we usually do, we're going to start right at the top with box value. And here specifically, I'm not looking at the output. I'm looking at cost per pack, essentially, and then working from there. This box had seven solid packs in it for $39.99. That brings us to just over $5.70 a pack for this box. And I think that's a very strong place to be. 
I think it puts us in a, in a really good place uh, in terms of the entry level tier of boxes, which is where we are currently. So I'm going to give the baseball boom box a five for box value. Jumping over to appearance. There is something to be said about simplicity and doing simplicity right. Um, and the boombox, you know, that's their their sort of thing, right? They've always had that simple stamp. And what I appreciate about their stamps is that each box is unique and that you can look at the box and know if it's the baseball, you know, the base baseball one, or if it's a high end, or if it's a platinum, right? I think it's it's consistent, it's clean. Could they take it up another notch? Absolutely. But I, I think considering what else we've seen, you know, I, I can appreciate this uh, a little bit. Then the other part that they, you know, they sort of always include a little bit of information about what's what's included, how to contact them, etc. So I think in terms of appearance, I'm going to give them a solid four. Next, we're looking at pack selection. And if we do a little recap here of what we had... 2020 archives, pretty recent release. I remember this box was from October. Hobby pack, pretty good. Tops Chrome, Hobby pack, clearly pretty awesome. Series two, Hobby pack, again, really solid. Heritage, you know, uh, you start to, to, to fall off slightly, but however, uh, you know, not awful by any stretch of the imagination. And again, Hobby packs. And then, you know, in terms of add-ons, having 2017 Series 1 put in there, I think is really cool. And then Bowman Draft, one of the older Bowman Drafts, are almost a uh, boombox staple. You're going to find one of these pretty much in every single box. So I have no choice here but to unequivocally, without question, give this box a 5 for pack selection. Now, moving on to experience, this is where, you know, all of the different facets of the box try to come together, right? And what is there beyond um, the box itself, right? In this case, we get some supplies, we get a little bit of, uh, you know, information included. And, you know, I, I appreciate those things greatly. Um, at this level, there's nothing additional, no included hits and no raffles. But all in all, I think I'm going to give the baseball boombox a four under experience. I think it's a pretty strong box. That is going to give this box an 18 out of 20, our highest score so far. We're only three boxes into our entry level tier, but there's only two left to go. So I think boombox has jumped out ahead a little bit, in my opinion, sort of setting the standard. Uh, almost across the board. So don't forget to smash that like if you enjoyed the break. I'd like to see more like it. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn on the notifications and tune in tomorrow where we jump into the Vault Card Club Deluxe Baseball Box. As always, if you have any suggestions for me for other boxes I should, I should check out or any feedback for me on my reviews, please feel free to leave that in the comments down below. I appreciate you coming along for the journey, and I hope you'll return again soon. This is Tommy. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.